did. And I remember my mom took me to all these hospitals all through be able to walk. Again. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep going, going to different doctors until I get the answer that I want, or if I just take whatever the doctor says. And according to him today, he said I was fine. And I said, no, I'm not fine. I get hurt all the time. And the guy, the doctor didn't even know what it was. Like, he had to Google Like, I had to Google it because he didn't even know how to spell it. And here I am, like, trying to, like, go to him for, for medical advice. You know what I mean? Or to fucking be able to walk. So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Chicago, and I'm gonna see Doctor Getz. And Doctor Getz is the guy is the doctor who diagnosed me when I was a kid. And I remember my mom took me to all these hospitals all throughout my childhood, you know, like Children's Memorial and all these different hospitals. That's where I, that's where I spent my childhood. And nobody knew what was wrong with me. And like... <sighs> one doctor, one doctor told my mom, she goes, Oh, he's pigeon-toed. I just put his shoes on the wrong feet. <sighs> just put his shoes on the wrong feet. Really? <sighs> and I'm fucking locked up and crippled. Then there's another doctor who told my mom that I would be dead by the time I hit puberty. I'm 35 years old now. I remember my, my whole childhood just never knowing what was going on. And then went to Dr. Getz. And he was the one that, that diagnosed me as a kid when I was like seven years old. And I had to go see him like three times a year, like from seven years old until I was like graduated high school. But I haven't even I haven't even been to the neurologist since him because the medicine that he prescribed for me has just been working. Ish. Yeah, I'm prescribed to take one to three a day as needed. Before I used to take one pill, maybe every day. Now I'm taking like three to four pills a day and still feel like I want more. Like I'm just popping it like fucking Tic Tacs. And I don't know what, what that medicine does what other side effects could be, you know, for my personality or, you know, my, my emotional instability or my sleeping. I don't know. I don't know what that medicine, what that medicine has, like, how, what effect it has on me. I don't know. I mean, someone once took my pill thinking that it was like, a pain pill and like violently started like convulsing and like went crazy so whatever I take is some pretty strong shit I'm sure <laughs> and I mean now like I was teaching a spin class like a few weeks ago and my my, my, my spinning shoe was locked into the bike <laughs> and I started like crippling up 
as my foot was locked into the spin bike and I was teaching a class that was filled with people and it was my first time teaching that class so they didn't even know who I was. It's not like I gotta excuse myself from my bike and say, excuse me guys, I have dystonia. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> Sorry guys, keep going, keep pedaling. You know what I mean? How fucking humiliating is that? Come on everybody. Give me one level on resistance. I feel like people think I'm like drunk in class and I'm not. Like I'll take a step and I'll trip or whatever. And I don't talk about it to people because what do you say? What do you say to people when you, you know, that people don't care about your shit. You know what I mean? People don't care. How you doing today, Brian? Well, you know, today's been kind of rough. I woke up fucking crippled because I don't have enough dopamine in my brain. You know what I mean? And saying that I feel like I feel like an asshole because, you know, there's some people who don't have legs to walk around at all. And I'm bitching because my fucking ankle is locking up. At least I can move. So I, I feel bad complaining about it. But it's hard, and I don't know who to, I don't even know who to talk to about it. I don't even know who to talk to about it. <laughs>